People encounter statistics um, in all sorts of ways in their everyday life. Um, they'll meet them um, in the workplace quite regularly. They'll meet them uh, whenever they're trying to make decisions and whenever they're going about their sort of normal everyday business. Uh, so companies will use statistics to summarise their performance, for example. Uh, as individuals, we might be interested in uh, how the average house prices might vary from one region to the other. Um, and the government will tell us how many people are out of work at the moment. Um, so you, you see that all these sorts of bits of information, either pay, maybe in numeric form as numbers, perhaps in a table, um, but you can see them in charts uh, and, gra and other types of graphics as well. I've uh, had two passions uh, in my life. One is statistics, the other one is football. So I put both of those together to uh, look at uh, how I can apply statistics in football and developed a, a research interest in that. So now I'm engaged in predictive modelling in, uh, in sport and in particular football. So that's all about trying to find a statistical model that will help us predict the probability of one team uh, beating another on a Saturday afternoon. Um, I've worked in industry, in statistics. I've worked uh, in higher education, lecturing, um, but I've also recently worked quite a lot in providing statistics support to uh, staff and students. Um, so I'm well aware of the issues uh, and barriers that people face when they're trying to understand statistics and trying to understand how to undertake statistical analyses as well. As well as uh, handling difficulties with terminology, people also have to negotiate uh, the misuse of statistics, which uh, happens quite regularly in the media, um, in uh, newspapers and on television. So for example, you might see a chart that's got a misleading axis on it, and unless you're aware of that, um, you may not be interpreting the information that's on the graph as, in the right way. Um, another way, is, another problem that people face is to do with sample size. Uh, so if uh, an advert for a product says eight out of 10 people prefer this product, is that eight out of exactly 10 people or is it eight out of 10 based on a thousand people? Okay, um, so if anybody wants to improve their understanding of statistics, um, this course covers uh, a number of things. It covers uh, statistical terminology. It covers uh, an introduction to uh, a few uh, um, statistical methods. Um, and it also discusses some of the issues that people need to bear in mind when they're looking at statistical information. Uh, and as well as that, there's uh, a number of online learning resources that people might want to look at um, in relation to, to statistics. Uh, for example, the uh, StatsTutor website.